Hello everyone. It has been far too many days. Far too many. That kind of happens when you choose sleep over streaming. Extremely bad if I want to try to build an actual park. But, but there's no but. I am sorry. I have kept it in my thoughts. Stream. Motivation is hard most days. Oh wait. Go away. Okay, there we go. Let us continue for as long as we can. Hopefully we can actually finish it. I'm saying hope. I can't guarantee. I think there's a few missions. Not too many. Or reaching kind. Barrick, how are you injured, my dude? Justice. Oh, just Murder of the Queen. Oh, yeah, the bat. Okay, we were doing something with Gamma. Oh, that gambling. Dog. <laughs> the hell? Looks like shambling in. Oh, come on, I'm not spiders. Oh, die. Die. He burned. I kinda wish this bow I had. Despite this bow being very good and evolving with me and being hellishly strong, I wish I could change up the element with it because it's just good mainly with fire. Like, yeah, it does automatic fire damage, which is very beneficial, but damn, I wish I had ice damage, because ice damage is very underutilized in this game, because very few things can take on ice. Is that open? But it doesn't. Oh, okay. Sitting in my house, I don't... Don't know what path is correct. Ooh, yeah. I can't tell if this is the right way to go. Team battle. No. Oh, oh. Fight me! No, not like that. <laughs> I'm an archer. I'm an archer. Don't forget, game. We are an archer. Stay back into the background. <laughs> Jesus. If this was a warrior, I'd be full reaver just ripping through people. Right. Oh, hey, it's well. Stop. Varric okay over there? I'm glad he, that Varric has my dog's back and the dog has his back. Quite nice. Ooh, chesty chest. Ooh, ooh. I want to play this again sometime in the future as a mage. I have the staffs. Oh, the staffs. The story never changes. It all has one singular purpose, one singular end. Every single time. It's sad, but you can choose your romances. Choose who you want to have your party. Choose who you're going to fight in the end, kind of, depending on your choices. Quite nice. Gives you a little bit of variety, but the ending. Wait, no. Well, depending on what choices you make, depending if you're more on the maid side or the Templar side, you can determine things. But your enemies and everything you fight, pretty much the same. So Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. Bitch, where were you? I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. I didn't know you had such a pretty little cousin, Hawk. I have a cousin? Gamlin never told you. I... Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion. But we have unfinished business here. Veld! What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. 
That bitch killed him. What's a Mekel? My brother. Mekel was my brother. And you killed him. That doesn't make sense. Mekel was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem charade. Hand it over. I won't let Mekel's death be for nothing. You let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem. You know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. <laughs> Get him off you. Fucking you up, bro. You decided to get right into the moss pit, my dude. What else did you think was gonna happen? Hey, 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 get off my dog. Get off my dog. Get off my dog. This is poor. Is my cousin fighting? Holy shit. Hey, cuz. I thought you would just dip out in the corner. Hey. Why y'all gotta bring out the dog, yo? I'll kill humans all live long day, but I'm a dog. I do shit. Look at this here. Shit, bro. I'm gonna take my kill. Oh my fucking god. Why do you have so many men in this game? Barrick, you good over there? Immortal. Haha, <laughs> you backstabbed her, did nothing. You're pretty useful in a fight. You don't take after Gamlin at all. You fight very well. Gamlin never told me he had a daughter. There's probably a lot of things he hasn't told you. My mother, Mara, she left Gamlin before I was born. He was so fixated on finding that stupid gem. I doubt he even noticed she was gone. She told me about Gamlin before she died last year. I didn't even know about him. Well, before you were born, I don't think he actually knew about you. You told Veld you had the gem. Were you lying? Not at all. I found the gem. I managed to pull off what Gamlin couldn't. Next time you want to talk to someone, maybe try knocking on their door first. Oh yes, that sounds brilliant. Just show up on his doorstep and say, Hi, I'm your daughter. I doubt that would go over well. I just wanted to see, I don't know, how far he'd go for something he really wanted. And then he doesn't even show up. I baited him with the one thing I thought would get his attention. He's got some good qualities. You might be surprised. Really? What do you think I should do? I think you should go talk to Gamlin. Does he even know about you? I... I'm not sure. Maybe give him a chance before you write him off. I think I will. Having a cousin turned out to be a good thing. Maybe having a father will too. You guys, you getting all injured and busted up. It all worked out in the end because Gamlin can have a daughter. Or well, at least do something for him, shit. <laughs> Them dudes were hard to fight. I have like a few.
You land a critical hit, the victim's health bar flashes white. Where the fuck are we? After all this, the life of a pirate's going to be a bit dull, isn't it? I know. I'll have to steal myself another Canari relic. The scary thing is, I don't know if you're joking. <laughs> of course I'm joking. I'm not getting involved with those people again. No. This time, I'll steal the Queen of Antiva. There's no way that could go wrong. Yeah, kind of. You've got to realize this is kind of new to me. I didn't know Mara had a baby. If I did, I would have, well, I don't know, gone after her or something. She used to say I was so much like you. And I didn't even know who you were. I guess I wanted to see for myself. I need some time to think about all this, but if it's all right, I'd like to come back and talk more. I think I'd like that. Uh, keep, uh, safe. Looks like you two had a good talk. It was bloody awkward, that's what. I was worried she wouldn't come find you. I think you need each other. You know, I may not say this very often, but I'm glad you're one of the family. But seriously, next time, stay out of my damn business, girl. Fuck you too, Kevin. Mm. Eat a dick. Okay, yeah, that's that minuscule mission. Oh, we have other shit we got. Little bit more before we can take on that drag. A little bit more. What level are we, by? 19? Damn, we're almost, we're pretty much at the pinnacle of strength in a Dragon Age game. The highest you can get is like almost 25 attack it was pretty high god damn what are you doing in my house here boy have something to wet your teeth on freshly confiscated mutton just for you have at it just checking on my best guardsman he's helping the men to learn healthy respect and how to run Mm -hmm. Always at your service, Miss Air. Meryl? Kinda of scary you just fucking standing there. You know, I'm starting to think Sandal is watching me. Because he is watching. I can't bring myself to change anything about Mother's room. Letters. Good, he made it there. I don't know who this woman is, but uh, we helped her. Good to see you again,
one sec. This is an awkward ass pair, but I will check it. I don't like that mirror. I terrified. A very powerful, powerful man. Tempest. Stone fist. I don't like the looks of this. I was like, what? Thieves? What the fuck are thieves doing out here? Stay dead, please. Why would you try to rob the Dalish? So your tranquil solution was hardly the Holocaust you imagined. You've been seeking revenge for the death of one family for as long as I've known you. Are you honestly judging me for trying to save the lives of every mage in Thedas? But they were never threatened. It was a single man's lunacy. The Chantry would never follow through with such a thing. Yet. Yeah, this was gonna be a very awkward ass pair. <laughs> I love a scroll? What the fuck? How was I ever supposed to, like, see that in my travels? Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him and to tell anyone who asked where he was. Why would he give away his position? He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. That was a bit odd, wasn't it? If he came to the Dalish to hide, why did they give him away so easily? The hunters chased away another one last night. Too many Shemin. Can't you talk to the keeper? Leave him with her. I tried. She got chopped. Why would they give this one character a name? You do not belong here, Shemlin. I don't wish to offend. I'll conduct my business and go. You do that. Oh, you're back here. It is good to be among my people again. It sold. This. Ooh. Ooh. It. Mm. Wrong bow. Get out of here. Dalish crafting is second to none, I assure you.
pissed off. Hell no. Fuck, I'm glad all those shots actually hit it. Fuck that shit sideways. Oh, don't know how close you were to getting attacked by blighted dark spot. Jesus. Oh, hell no. Canara would wipe the floor with the fuck. <clears throat> that was a bit odd, wasn't it? When she came to the Dalish to hide. Why did they get away so easily? Fresh ones. I'm looking for traps. Gotta keep my ears open for traps. Make her watch over us. That can do it. from the last fire area. Legendary because we made it to level 20. This is a Dragon Age game. Fucking high as hell. Jesus, what the fuck? Ah, uh, some more. Okay, we gotta sit back. There's, ooh, Oh, yeah, you exist. <laughs> Can't wait to use that move on somebody. Looks pain. Oh. And you got some new fun. From the look of these traps, the assassin was definitely expecting company. That's a good angle. What? These are traps you have to step. 
What the fuck? All set. Bitch, why? Okay, cause it. The, okay. Please stop stepping on those. Good, get on boy. Thank you, dog. Why do I take all these corpses? I ain't got shit on. Oh, I gotta get out of here before I burn all my people to this. Why am I picking up rings? <laughs> Who am I giving these to? Oh, that was fu fuck you. I saw that auto save. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. There's a dead dude. That couple dead dudes. Oh, a hoard of treasure. Fuck you! Wow, this is kind of nasty. Are you all my enemies doing that? I gotta dip, 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 Oh my god. That sounds so weird. Oh, it works mostly against Dark Spawn. That's really nice, but we hardly ever fight a lot of Dark Spawn. Now you, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled uneven leather. <laughs> Isabella, if it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I've heard about you. You helped the hero of Ferelden stop the blight. At your service, my friend. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He didn't mention how handsome. Ah, so you've noticed. I credit my high cheekbones and pouty lips. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends, unlike myself. But you are a woman who can clearly handle herself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nuncio. Which will it be, I wonder? You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I doubt the sword. I like your list of options. But does it have to be in that order? I knew you couldn't resist my obvious charms. It's it's the accent, isn't it? I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. 
As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Very well. Is it? Oh my god, this thing is very strong. I'm gonna mine it. That's a bitch. Can't use it, of course. That was fucking weird. Okay. Murder the crows. <laughs> I let your assassin go. Was I not supposed to do that? You had him? And you let him go? I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. <laughs> Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here. Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. <laughs> Oh, that's not as strong. I need to get the fuck out of here. Why are my eyes cut? Oh, it's because the pound shit. That's why my eyes are fucking low. Tricky as hell. I keep getting fucking drop kicked. Stop fucking drop kicking me, Jesus fucking Christ, yo. Yeah. Surrounded by dude, yo. Yeah. Stop fucking drop kicking me, god damn. Last one, he's just drop kicking the dog taste out of me, and I fucking hate it. Thank you, Meryl. Oh, wait, that's not Meryl. Ander. Sorry, it was. Fucking Meryl would be there. If you said she's not. How's it going over there? That's good? Where's that dude? Okay, there he is. Ah, the dead end team is here. Ooh. That should do it. Alright. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you. Morning. Again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? Ah, Isabella, I did so miss you. That's because you have piss poor aim. Thankfully, you have other uses. Why does it seem like a bad idea to put these two together? Ha! <laughs> Bastion, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> She has very high power. You're like full evasion up in this bitch. Jesus. Good. 
God, I would not want to make enemies of And of Anders. Jesus, he's strong. <laughs> Who needs to be rescued at the wounded coast? How dare! Who the fuck are you? Who are you? The name's Evitz. As in oh. Evitz Marauders. The folk you killed a few years back. Now you're gonna die for what you've done. Oh fuck. Kind of like the Oh, I tied up some loose ends. You're not nearly as selfish as you pretend. Hey, you take that back. You had your relic. You were gone. There was no reason for you to come back and face the canary. I still don't have a ship. I thought I could get one. From a bunch of What's happening canaries? here? From the Viscount. I just got here late. I always knew you had a heart of gold. Shh, don't tell anyone. Huh? You there. Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? Either your father didn't give me the whole story, or I really, really hope you're talking about someone else. Fainrio, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainrio spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. And wrote the dream? Please take me to Fainrio. I want to thank him properly. Oh God, no, we're not doing that. She might kill me. I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. Hey, what did you do to all men? I'll kill you till you're good and dead. I'll deal with it. Lady, I swear to God, you're a blood mage. Wait a bit longer for my love. Oh, thank you for your aid. I will find my way back to Kirkwall. The walk will tire me, and we'll be reunited in my dreams. Fenrir, my love, I'm coming. Does he know that he has a psycho stalker? Go find out. The dreamer. What, he was just tapping into his power and just having to stumble upon this chick? Mm. He gonna go to the Avenger for him. Jesus. Mm -hmm. All different levels of kooky. Isabella, when the fuck did you die? What, a fresh corpse? Go what? What the fuck? But you assholes were all fucking gone. Why the fuck are y'all still here, yo? Jesus fuck you! I thought you were gone. Let's finish this. You legitimately don't me. Mm. I like the spears, though. I'm not gonna get attacked by dogs this time. Oh. They have a rage. They 
they have a mage. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Where is it? Where the fuck is it? It needs to die. There you are. No, don't you go. scares me more than their mages. Mages are a different fucking god. Scary. Mm -hmm. Everyone's still alive? No. Oh, Saravos. God damn. And I nearly pit. Oh, a Quinari sword. Yeah, I don't think I ever found all the Quinari swords before. Just get out of me. Eat their mages. So the only mages I fear is their mages are so unhinged with power. What the fuck is this bullshit? I got all going after Sebastian. Oh, look. Anything interesting happening around town? Damn, that's Aveline. Even without the Sebastian quest line, I would still have made it to level 20. And it's so good that we actually have extra missions to continue leveling up too. Or power. In the background. Foggy. Shipwreck Cove. Any enemies down here I can kill? Why was there an auto save? Uh, don't do that. Hey, they give me an auto save. I just found a recipe for a fucking grenade. Another one. What do I have already? Must. Okay. The other one's a fell grenade. Nope.
never wholeheartedly look for the torch. Probably won't even finish it, even in this play. You change spots. Are you supposed to change spots? How weird you fucking change spots? I don't like that. Why did you change spots? Weird. I hate that it's stronger than mine. Some carry where they feel, like small whispers of the Uh, he's in, yeah, he's in the hangman. Go drop some of these swords off to him. Ooh, flower. Oh, you're the wrong one. Damn, I just basically profiled a fucking giant. I can't Look. believe you're still not taking sides. I told you, I only like to be on top. I mean against the Templars. You like freedom, right? You hate slavery. Why wouldn't you side with the mages? Maybe I just don't like you. Oh, that is an honest response. I put him taker. Oh, six. Hey, adventurer. Uh, next one. Okay. Mm. You would call it apple salt. Not like we needed. I don't go over a certain amount of items anyway. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? It's customary. Very well. Please let my people get fucking huge. Oh. You, Carol, you good? Is this for me? It's beautiful. Do you know what it is? Oh, well, I thought so right up until you asked me. It's sylvanwood, rare as diamonds. You only find it in very old, very wild places. The carvings tell a story of the betrayal, the dread wolf tricking all the gods away from the world. Start at the beginning. What happened to the gods? Long ago, there were two clans of gods, 
The creators looked after the people. The forgotten ones preyed upon us. And one god was needed. Fan Harrow, the dread wolf. He was kin to the creators, and in the old days often helped them in their endless war against the forgotten ones. I assume he got tired of helping. That he did. Fan Harrow was clever. He could walk among both clans of gods without fear, and both believed he was one of them. He went to each side and told them the other had forged a terrible weapon, a blade that would end the war. He told the creators it was forged in the heavens, and the forgotten ones that it was hidden in the abyss. And when the gods went seeking it, he sealed them both in their realms forever. Now he alone is left in the world. I imagine the Dalish don't depict the doom of their gods just for decoration. Not exactly, no. This was made for a keeper, you see. Guarding a clan from the Dread Wolf is a keeper's place. It's a very sweet memento, thank you. I can't take Natus into this. I can. Okay, what missions we have left? I want to try to fight the dragon. We have three solid missions left. Somebody's armor's looking. Almost complete. Everyone's almost complete. That's actually quite nice. I thought it would be a lot worse. Yeah, constitution, please. Okay, that's all I got. Okay. All good. We off to war. Aveline, why is your health still so fat? I'm so angry at that. Mm. Let me save one more time. Just... Wrong button. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I don't see it. Thank you. 
my god. Apparently my hound's still on the field. There you go. Bring that dragon bushy down here. Oh my god, man. Why would my character start? Oh my god, you picked up Avalade and chomped her. Jesus Christ. Oh, can we not bunch up, please? Anders, you better fucking hear yourself. I 
angle. Damn it, got her before I could heal her. You really wasted that. Oh, you're sideways. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Get booted. Get him, Bobby. Feast on his soul. You got it. Oh my god, look how strong that is. Yeah, pick up his arm. Jesus, look how fucking strong that armor is. Look at this. Eh. Oh, till we get the full set of champion armor. <laughs> oh god, it's so strong. Hey, yo, Avalade, you need a weapon? Damn, even the weight is strong enough. you point okay what meant saving the fuck out of it uh. and that drag is the hardest fucking thing in the game uh. always is In an Inquisition, there are multiple fucking dragons, so it's just multiple times where you're gonna get killed by a dragon. that are all different elements. They had to go upgrade. <laughs> That's... that's great. A dragon attacked your mine. Everyone is dead. Dear Maker, what of my equipment? Did it seem salvageable? The dragon scorched every last cart and shovel. Oh, my heart. So many years of investment. I am ruined. Ruined. I'm sorry, champion. I appreciate your help, but I sank all my coin into that rotten mine. I have nothing left to pay you. Give me the bone pit. Perhaps in a few years I can get it back in order. What? Huh? Fine, take it. I wash my hands of this cursed venture. I'm actually looking up what happens if you take the bone pit. Deal with justice. 
Who's just what justice? Are we talking about Anders or someone else? Oh, it's very confusing. Outsiders think they can change us. That lady's still down here. Okay, she's not down here sucking dick from up. I always gotta check just in case there's something down there who wants to attack me. Nothing but scavenging today. You must join us. Do you see that now? You must stand with Kirkwall's mages. It's not my fight. You can't hide in Sundermount. There is no place for you among the Dalish. No, my clan is all I ever cared about. Everything I did, I did for them. On second thought. Maybe don't try to help us. Damn, dude, you're getting straight radical with this. Bitch, you had a Quinari sword. I don't come down to your place. I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. Is there some way to undo it? I've spent the past three years researching the methods of the Vinter Magisters. They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate Justice and me, without killing either. Is it dangerous? There are always dangers with magic. But I believe this will be worth the cost. Surely that's worth any risk it entails. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some... outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and... Boom. Justice and I are free. And we can take our rightful place among free mages. I assure you, we'll find them. I could not have begun to do this without your support. Okay, he's good. Peace. Herbalist test. Oh, for some for a dragon thing I took out. I have to admit, Anders, of the mages I know, you're the one I expected to go out in a blaze. The day is young. It was a compliment, you ass. No, it wasn't. What the fuck? Oh yeah, what was it? What herbalist task? Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I took this fire gland from a high dragon just outside the city. You killed a high dragon? Incredible. Let me see the fire gland. Is there anything you can make from it? 
this fire gland is a remarkable specimen. Wait here. I know exactly what I can craft from this. This turned out beautifully. Something worthy of our champion. I hope you can put it to good use. You give me? Oh, oh. I don't get a necklace. Okay. Let's go meet Meredith. I don't like being. Okay, I can't be opening up doors. You know, this is a difficult time for Kirk War. You think? Jesus, you guys are on the precipice of civil war after being invaded. Not invaded, absolutely fucking manhandled. That should do it. It's dark. Can I see my sister, please? <laughs> I haven't seen her since the whole, well, Canary uprising and all that. What's the point of having. Oh, hello. Who are you? The Knight Commander wishes to speak to you. Always a pleasure. And may I say, that outfit was a wise choice. There was an incident within the Gallus. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. Since you're turning to me, should I assume the Templars all suddenly disappeared. The apostates are being sheltered by their families. Some have been reluctant to talk to Templars, but you are another matter. The people of Kirkwall trust you, champion. They will be more honest for you than for us. I'm not doing your job for you. You have a sister in the circle of Magi, do you not? Bethany is her name. You about to cross the wrong fucking person here. You do anything to her, and I'll make you pay. Your sister is an exemplary mage. I bring her up only to illustrate the point that I do not believe their kind are all the same. No. Some dogs submit easily to the leash. Others remember they are wolves. We hunt wolves as well when they become a danger. If these fugitives harm this city, the people will turn against the circle. And that does affect your sister. Talk to these mages' families. Investigate for yourself whether they need be recaptured. Seems like you're giving me a lot of rope. Trying to hang me with it. I'm trying to solve a difficult problem in as gentle a fashion as I dare. You do not approve of my methods. But perhaps you will change your mind when you see firsthand how dangerous these apostates are. And what would it take to change your mind? Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Oh, 
know where I've been fighting blood mages for quite a few years. I'm like, it's not the first ones I've encountered. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? She flaunts what she can do to mages. She likes to rub our faces in it. The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. But she does not know for certain. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Oh, that's not good. I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Huon was taken many years ago. Most of the alienage's inhabitants do not even know him. Tell me what you know about Emil. The second apostate is Emil de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. Out of Hightown, some of our more vocal and delicate nobility. They are home in the evenings authoring complaints. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emil since he was a child. What do you know about the Delonces? Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marches over three decades ago. Emil was born in Kirkwall and sent to the Circle at age six. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the First Enchanter on her arrival, and asked to take her place here. That doesn't sound like a fugitive. Anything else? Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. Did the Templars run into her in Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. Well, shit. I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, Champion of Kirkwall. Hawk was a fool to let you move in. You'll only betray her. That's all your kind can do. Why do you only do this to me? Are you jealous? You never get upset about Hawk and Isabella. You can't really get jealous because someone sleeps with Isabella. It's just... understood. She's like a side dish. She comes with the meal. Where the fuck did all that come from, Anders? What the fuck? Uh... I'm getting a little fucking savage here, my dude. Jesus. Wait, so none of your ingredients in your mouth? Do you think we'll win? Win what? In the end. It feels like something is ending, doesn't it? Do you think we'll win? Nothing is ending, Meryl. Things are a little tense, but it will pass. I hope we win. Barrick will make it a good story, I'm sure. 
Thank you for the ominous signs that the game is near over. Jesus. Go to Merrill Town. Alright, good to go. Oh, greetings, Miss Sarah. Meryl, what are you doing here? We're here about Huon, Lisa. Oh. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. But after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning, but not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. Did he hurt you? Only broke my heart. How has Huon changed? He was obsessed with showing everyone true elven power. He frightened me. So you hadn't seen him since he left you? Huon didn't leave me. He was taken away. When the Templars found out he was a mage, they chained him and dragged him from the alienage in front of everyone. Now, I'm trapped in this... the sham. Married, but with no husband and no future. Do you know where Huon went after you sent him away? I don't know. He... disappeared. But... Uh, Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. A user, just looking for another handout. I don't know what he means, and I am afraid of him, Miss Sarah. <laughs> would it help if I return? I'll make sure you I would be grateful. Huon said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you... are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. Maybe the Circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him. And night time. Huon. Afraid. Your blood will bring me 
new life to our people. Uh. Yeah. He's out here stabbing bitches, eh? She was so beautiful. What do you mean, not again? Someday I'd like to go one week without meeting an insane mage. Just one week. I'm a visionary. I've seen our destiny. I know what fate holds for the elves. The humans keep us down because they're afraid of the magic within us. Look at the magic Lisa held inside her. She was just afraid to use it. <laughs> what is it with elves and blood magic? What's with humans and blood magic? Go fuck yourself. Oh god, it's gonna hurt. My hands all over my goddamn keyboard. Jesus Christ. You had boots of the champion and a poison. Okay, got armors, gloves. Now we're waiting for the helmet. Who has the helmet? Okay, we got a note. <laughs> Jesus. Well, and truly, I would not be able to find this place. What the? What, what the fuck? Makes sense. To me. Jesus Christ.
Uh -huh, I killed your sheep. I killed your sheep. Oh god, there's a way, there's a way. I don't like the massive increase in blood mages just randomly being on the streets. Don't said like. Frankly, I prefer the refugees. You look lovely tonight, my lady. Oh, you are too kind. I am so honored to have the champion in my home. I will call for refreshments. Talia? Oh, she is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. You're extremely cheery for a woman whose son is wanted by the Templars. Emil? Oh, yes. The Templars were asking about our poor boy recently. I haven't seen Emil since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emil will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulcie. What have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume! Darling! Don't darling me, Dorsey. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume! Darling! We have guests!
Don't stop on my account. This is fascinating. Uh, I didn't mean to lie to you, champion. I... I barely saw Emil. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. New life? His new life is spent in Lowtown taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. It's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Emil is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. It looks like the Comtesse is in greater danger of expiring at the moment. Yes, Dulce. She's high strung. An acquaintance spied Emile in the Hanged Man not long ago. He should still be there. The Hanged Man? Oh, but that place is filthy. Come, Dulce. Perhaps you should lie down. Or lesions. Servants, I don't like the looks of this. I was waiting for that. All set. Oh, these poor servants. You let me in one door, but you can't let me out the other. That's so cool. Damn, I can't imagine how that feels. Jesus. Mm -mm. Okay, that's not too bad. Should be okay. Really? There are multiple.
Okay. Okay. Off to the hangman then. Okay, then. Smack the dog shit out of my bike. Oh. So he comes down wearing nothing but his girls. We have a few drinks and everyone's laughing, but he doesn't care. I found this amazing hat shop in Lowtown. Ah. Emile Delancey. Wow. Are you? Are you a mage? Because you just magic my breath away. You need more practice with women. Can I practice on you? <laughs> In private? That would never work. Your tongue's not raspy enough. At best, you just drool a lot. He's lived in the circle all his life. He can't function in the real world. Round of drinks on me. I'm Emil. As you know, and you are. They call me the champion of Kirkwall. I've been looking for you, Emil. Oh, buggery. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because, uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and... Uh, but suave. Uh, do you have a death wish? You grew up in the circle. You know what the Templars do to blood mages. I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six! For 20 years I was locked up. I never had a real drink or, or cooked something for myself. I never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. The Ferelden circle's more fun. Everyone was kissing everyone. Though, that was before the abominations. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. I'm not gonna fucking kill you. You can't run. The Templars will find you eventually. I... I'll make you a deal, alright? Give me one night. Just one night. One of the tavern girls, Nella, agreed to lie with me. I even paid for a room. Please, let me have this. Uh, you can take me back in chains after. I'll wait here till you're ready to go back to the circle. Thank you. Well, I'm not going to tell you about it. Ah, that was utterly worth it. Back to the Templars. Do you ever feel like the world? Shut up, Banders. <laughs> simpler. Like everything from eating to fighting is a lot more simple. I can be able to piss off not everyone. The fuck are you? Break some heads tomorrow, maybe. Good payday. We got nothing here you'd want. Get back to Hightown and leave us alone. You're a little young for a blood mage. And I thought Evelina was a girl's name. I'm not Evelina, I'm Walter. Evelina was our friend. She was our mother. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. 
But when she went to join the circle here, they called her apostate for leaving the tower and for Elden. They locked her up. Not quite what they told us. Do the Templars know you're here? They don't care. They only want Evelina. Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the Circle would help her, but they just locked her away. If you tell me where Evelina is, I'll try my best to help her. You can trust me. No one can help her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. She's in the sewers, child. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We... we have to hide. Cricket! Full circle. I wasn't paranoid. Oh, you didn't tell me. Didn't tell me. Meryl, get the fuck out of the fire. What are you doing here? I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter... She's coming! Run! I hear you. There you are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent mad women was a good thing. These are my children. 
You and your kind abandoned them. You ferel them. Like us. But you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. That spit on you, traitor. And on the perfection wars that sent you, Kirkwall should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. <laughs> Oh, she turned for me. I've seen that have been with me in a long time. That's his first game. Yeah, you massively lost health. That's why you rapidly changed. Just like with the sloth demon in the first game. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Evelina would never hurt your child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... I'll try. This isn't going to stop. The Templars force our hand. They make us take drastic measures just to be free. Like Evelina did. Exactly. I just don't know what we'll do now. Take this, and use it wisely. Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. A ruin of devastation. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar portray. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. I know it isn't my place to criticize, but are you sure about Meryl? She acts sweet, but she'll never pick you over her demon. Meryl loves me. What right do you have to question us? Is your justice any different? Yes. Keep your illusions, then. Maker knows I won't be the one to change them. I gave him. I haven't used Fenris in like this is the beginning. Jesus. Oh my god. And his blade doesn't even evolve with him, so he has a very weak blade. Jesus Christ.
This is it. The Cella Petre should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. I'm gonna find a few more deposits. And... Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. See if we can find a few more deposits. Wait, fucking deposit do you need? I don't like the looks of this. All set. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Damn, that's full of guys that the actual assassins get hit. Thank God, I'm free. I was actually stuck in that for a second. Jesus. That should be plenty. Thank the Maker. to you now to me nothing not yet to yourself you can't even begin to imagine the number of mages okay well enough
still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit. We have to go into the rack, is that right? I hope the rest of the dragons haven't heard this place is on the market. Are you ready to go in? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll have to look for Drake stone deposits along the sides. Of the warden, sir? This looks like a great stone deposit. I need a scraping from the deep in the castle. There should be one further in. Okay, he's almost done. Damn, my inventory is getting full. There should be more further in. Watch your step. Where? There should be more further in.
the very they're the Grey Warden guy in here. I don't like the looks of this. I can't currently move. Mm. I'm going to sleep. Have yourselves a good day.